You see this right here? Go grab one of these. Who you see in here? That's the only opinion and that's the only person that matters. Let's talk about insecurities. Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm April, creator and founder of Lena's Pearls. Today I want to talk to you about insecurities. This is a subject that is, it really weighs heavy on my heart because I also struggle with insecurities. We all do. And it's not just looks. It's so many other aspects of our lives that we really need to get over. And we'll find as we discuss this more and more that a lot of it does not have anything to do with us, but with what others are impressioning us into. My husband and I were actually talking about this because I told him how much this subject bothered me and got the trusty notebook because I really want to make sure that I hit home with all of this. Um, this is going to be a pretty long video. I'm sorry. Feel free to skip if this does not um, have anything to do with you or you don't struggle with some of these things that we're going to go over. But um, sit back, relax, and let's just take our time and really uncover and, and peel back the layers of this um, emotion and this struggle that we really all have with most of us and many of us have and are struggling with as far as being insecure. I like to tell people all the time, especially women, you were created on purpose with a purpose. God didn't make any mistakes. There is nothing wrong with you. The person that you see when you grab one of these or you pass by one of these, that's all that matters is what you see and how you feel about that person. The definition of insecurity or insecurities or insecure is basically not confident or assured, uncertain. And basically to bring it back all the way down to its you know, most common definition is lacking in confidence in some way. And this could be lacking in confidence as far as our abilities, our worth, our appearance, our overall value to other people. And we end up taking a lot of that on because of outside um, influences, not necessarily our own. And my thing is, what exactly are you basing it on? Are you basing your outward appearance or the desire to change something about yourself or go under the knife for something or you're holding yourself back from stepping into maybe what you have finally identified as your calling and because of something else that you're seeing, society and uh, so, uh, social media, reality TV, music videos, someone that you see that you're admiring and now you feel like, well, I'm not them, so that means I can't do this. What exactly are you basing these, this lack of confidence in whatever area on? That's what you first need to identify because everyone has something. Everybody has something going on. The most beautiful people in the world are struggling with some of the most, you know, mind blowing circumstances that you wouldn't even believe if they were to sit down in a room privately with you and tell you. And the God made no mistakes. The only thing he, he did give you free will. So if you're in a battle with yourself about something and you're feeling pressure to change something about yourself, that's where the free will comes in. But you have to make sure that you're doing it for you, not because of something someone has said or, or something that has happened in the past and somebody feels like you're not living up to their standards. Who are they? And what I've learned over the years is people who have a problem with you have a problem with themselves first. So they are in no position to impression you and tell you what you need to change about yourself. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you're changing something about yourself based on somebody else's opinion or desires or wants of you, you will regret it. When you get that gnawing feeling inside yourself that something's not right with this, I don't really want to do this because we all naturally do what we want to do first. That is our first thing. What's my desire? What would I like to do? I want to go back to school. I want to lose weight. I want to gain weight. I, I, I want to get lashes. I, I, I want to have my nose done. I, I want to go under gastric bypass surgery. I want to 
have my ears pinned back. I want to cut my hair. I want to dye my hair. I want to grow my hair. Um, I'd love to start speaking in front of people. I'd like to start looking into other careers. I, you know, whatever it is, whatever. And it's and we don't all have one insecurity. Some of we all listen. Human beings are very unique creatures, and we all have various insecurities about various things. And so, therefore, it could be a million different things that I could name. But you have to this, you have to decipher if it's something that you want to change for you or not. You can't allow other people to try to force you to make a major change. And those same people, a lot of times wouldn't change for you. So why are you what are you doing? And you're not going to be pleased with something that you're doing for someone else. And think about it. If you're changing something about yourself for someone that you're in a relationship with, trust me. If they were to break up with you today or tomorrow or leave this earth today or tomorrow and you've done something and changed something about yourself to please them, you will regret it big time, especially if it's not something that you want to do. Now, I'm going to say the other side of that. If it is something that you have identified and you looked in one of these or whatever it is and you said to yourself, you know, what, I want to do that. That's perfectly good. Well, and fine. Make sure it's something that you want to do because it's something you've decided that. I would like to do for the right reasons, for the most uplifting and powerful reasons, not because someone is treating you badly or talking to you or talking down to you or making you not feel about good about yourself as the core person that you are originally. Like I said, God didn't make no mistakes. You really are fine the way you are. But I want to get into some of these notes because I really just went. I, I think I was up <laughs> writing notes about this subject for quite some time. So being rich, pretty, well-educated, all of that, none of that makes us exempt from the trials of life. We all have to deal with something. You know, I was um, on an interview years ago, and one of the questions that was asked was, if you could be anybody in the world, who would you be for a day? And you know what I answered? Because I've learned this lesson, I've learned this lesson a long time ago, and I thank the Lord that I actually learned this lesson a long time ago. Um, not that I don't still struggle day to day with insecurities. I answered and said, nobody but myself. I, there is no one on this earth I'd rather be than me. And she really, like, she dropped her pen and she looked at me. She said, you know, that's the first time anybody has ever answered that question that way. Normally they'll say Oprah or whatever the president, da, da, da. And I said, and she said, I really, I need to know why. She said, I'm not supposed to even get any further into the, you know, you answer the question and we supposed to move on. But I really need to know why you said that. And I said to her, simple and plain, because Oprah and whoever else is on that list is common names that are dropped have problems of their own. And I don't want them. I know how to deal with my stuff. I don't want to learn how to deal with their stuff, even if it's for 24 hours. Nobody on this earth is exempt from the trials and tribulations of life. And I don't want to, if the, if God did not put that burden on me, I don't want to go and get that burden for 24 hours, an hour, 20 minutes. Cause what he has for me is for me. What walk is my walk is my walk. What's for, I mean, listen, we can go, listen, I'll start preaching up here, but <laughs> I don't want anybody else's burdens and neither should you. I, you know, some of us want butt lifts and, implants and 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 listen if you want to do that for you that's fine as long as none of these enhancements because that's what it's really supposed to be it's not supposed to change you because something's wrong with you because there's nothing wrong with you now some of us that are naturally born with deformities and things that that's not what I'm talking about I'm talking about things that you were naturally blessed with that you're insecure about that for some reason, you feel as though you need to change as long as it's your truth and your reason and your core and you're going to be able to live with it because, you know, you made the decision for you. That is all good. Well, and fine. I encourage you to go ahead and do it. But I promise you on anything, you will regret doing something, especially physically to yourself, to please somebody else. You will. You will. Pardon me again for looking down at my notes. There is a light in you. There is a light in you and a gift in you that is yours and yours alone. And it's beautiful. And if you hone in on that and cultivate it, you are going to bless this world with a quite amazing. If you're, and you're already an amazing person anyway, 
but an um, even more leveled up amazing individual who's only who the, the sky is the limit. So stop trying to burn your light out so someone else can shine. If they don't like your shine, they don't have no business being with you in the first place or in your circle or friend of yours or what have you. And what you can do for them, since they want to voluntarily tell you what you need to change, is you can help them learn the things that they need to change. And one of them is stop being so negative and not a supporting friend or a compassionate lover and somebody in your life. And help them look in the mirror and say, listen, that's who you need to work on. I'm fine the way I am. And anything that I am not fine about, I will handle. I told you. We need to start speaking up to these people in our lives and let people know what's happening to us. This all goes back to, you know, however it made you feel was how it was meant to make you feel. And if they're hurting you and disappointing you and, and making you feel like your self-worth is less than, that's a problem. You need to speak up and let these people know. Back up off me. Even with, you know, if you want to gain a few pounds, if you want to lose a few pounds, do it for you. If you like how you are, honey, then you go ahead and you stand firm in it. And guess what? Somebody going to like it. Somebody going to love it. If they don't like it, then they're not the one. <laughs> Friend, whatever. If the job don't appreciate you, it's not the job. <laughs> If you went and got a degree and you spent money on certifications and up late, you know, passing these classes and what have you and to be of more value and they can't appreciate that new that new um, education and, and the effort that you put into leveling up, then guess what? It doesn't belong to that job. It belongs to a job out here that's going to appreciate it and is looking for you. You know. Most of the time, we already have that gnawing feeling about when it is the end, <laughs> when their, their time and our, their season in our lives or that circumstance, is, it's time for it to go. Most of the time, we already know that, okay? And when it's time to roll out, it's time to roll out and it's time to let it go. You were created on purpose with a purpose. God made no mistakes. There is nothing wrong with you. And nobody on this earth has a right to tell you that there's something wrong with you or you need to change something. Now, I'm not talking about bad attitudes and stuff like that. And if your mother's telling you, girl, you need to, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about those insecurities that we have in life where we've taken them on because people have decided to, that we need to change to please them. You don't need to change to please anybody, especially your physical appearance. Like I tell everybody, I was born with what I have and I'm gonna die with what I have. And if I decide to change it, if I want to throw some contacts in, if I want to change, listen, my husband already knows up in here <laughs> that, you know, I remember when I first chopped my hair because under my crochet braids, I have an undercut. And when I first decided to chop because my hair was down here and my the, somebody said to me, oh, did your husband give you permission? How did you? I said, listen, now, listen, I did consult with my husband because I don't want him to not like what he's looking at. I mean, you want to please to a degree. You know, listen, this is what they invested in. And now you change the stuff. <laughs> you change the stuff up. You want to consult with people. But at the end of the day, the choice is still yours. <laughs> and I looked at them. I said, uh, I'm just my husband is just fine. <laughs> he did say he misses my long hair. So that's why sometimes you'll say, I'll, I'll throw it in there and change things up and what have you. There's nothing wrong with a little change here and enhancements here. And do, listen, do it for you, though. That is the point. These insecurities have got to go. Look in the mirror. That's the only person that matters. That's the only person's opinions that matter. You have to stop basing yourself on these celebrities and these videos and stuff because when I promise you, some of them are walking, going home with some serious hell on their hands and some serious medical issues on their hands from some of the enhancements and stuff that they've done. You gotta be okay with you. And you have to trust in the fact and knowing that somebody, quite a few people, truth be told, are looking for it and want it. And that's in any scenario that you can come up with. So you go ahead and you stand firm and you be okay in you. So that's basically all I have today. If you, anybody, just please in the comments, encourage each other. Have you come across a situation or someone that you know is struggling with this? Share the video with them. If you want to discuss anything further and you have any additional questions that you want to ask me in confidence, 
feel free to email me at linuspearls4 at gmail.com. I'll leave all the information below. Let's open up this conversation and help each other with this because this is an ongoing situation. This is an ongoing problem. We all need to be encouraged and stop being insecure and having these insecurities. Um, follow me on Facebook and Instagram. Those links will also be below. Until next time, know that you were created with a purpose for a purpose. There are no mistakes with you. You are fine how you are unless you decide that you want to change it. I can't say it enough. If you hear nothing else in this video, hear me on that. Until next time, everyone, take care and be blessed and be fulfilled and empowered and secure and confident in you and your own abilities.